In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this kind of design and then you can add the step one and then below you can add the icon and detail text. Likewise, with different color, you can add the option number two, three and four. And I've created one more slide where I've added the black background with some animation effect. So you can see this small light when I click, it will just go pass it to uh, each option like this so depending on your requirement if you want this one to uh, run continuously you can uh, set the settings for that and then i've added one more with a black background but all the lines are white here and then the similar animation effect i have added here this is a little bit slow you can see here something like this and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the grid lines then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the free from shape so select the free form shape and then from here till this one i'm going to click one time uh, left arrow key and then i'm going to put it at the top you can see here like this in the middle and then i'm going to put this side also one side middle you can see here and then again i'm just going to put it here and then i'm just going to double click here all right so we end up getting a shape something like this so once this is done i'm going to give uh, the color of your choice if you want you can give the this color if you want you can give some black background with white it's up to you and then you can increase the width you can see here something like this and then i'm going to give one arrow here so right mouse click go to format shape and you can see here the end arrow type i'm going to give this one sorry end arrow type this one you can see here like this now depending on your requirement you can reduce the size something like this you can see here if you want you can just reduce the height also or if you feel that height should be okay you can just increase it so once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by holding the control shift uh, button I can just drag it or press ctrl D to duplicate so I'm holding the ctrl shift key and then just drag it here this is second one again hold the ctrl shift key and then release it and then I'm going to add one more and then release it so I've added four press ctrl A to select all and then I'm going to put this in the center so likewise if you want you can increase this uh, increase this uh, options or you can decrease also depending on your requirement and I'm just going to view and removing the grid lines and then here I want to increase the width so I'm going to select all by holding the shift key or you can press ctrl a also and then I'm going to increase the width a little bit here all right and if you want to give some gap also it's possible so i'm just going to give a gap here and i don't need to give the, the same thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all this then go to format align and then distribute horizontally so equal spacing will be added between these options and then i'm going to give a different color for this one maybe i'm going to give uh, this orange then i'm going to give uh, maybe this green or this light color and then a darker green kind of thing all right so once this is done you can go to insert text box you can add 0 1 all right and then i'm going to add step here in caps or small up to you and then i'm going to choose the font open sans make it bold this also i'm going to make it open sans bold increase the size a little bit and this one i'm going to give gray color here both the gray colors and make sure that it is aligned properly all right you can go to format align left and then press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key together and then put it here and release it again hold it and then release it again hold drag and release so now i'm going to make this as two 
this one three and this is the fourth step and go to insert text box you can add the detailed text equals lorem within bracket one and i don't want this uh, long text so i'm going to delete the unwanted text and i'm going to make it maybe center align gray reduce the font size open sans all right let me just reduce the width further and these are the detailed text again hold the control shift key together release it do the same thing for this like this so you can see here our design is ready and if you want to do some basic animation you can do the animation and i'm just going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and here i'm going to make the background as black you can see here and if you want you can just put the same color if you want you can give it white it's up to you so let me just go to insert and i'm going to add one shape which is the oval shape by holding the shift key you get a perfect circle shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white then go to the effects go to the soft edges increase the soft edges here all right so it looks like kind of a light here i'm going to put this one and then i'm going to uh, animation let me just close this one enable the animation pane add animation scroll down and select the custom path so the custom path i'm going to click it here then i'm just going to draw the same thing here you can see here i'm going to click one time here then here here you can see here the same zigzag i'm just following the lines nothing else i'm doing you can see here like this till here here and at the end i'm going to click it till here double click so it comes something like this you can see here double click this one remove the smooth start smooth end you can give the timings you can make it maybe slow and if you want to repeat continuously you can say continuous repeat or just you can make it one time so let me just make it two times and you see here it works something like this all right so this is how you can do the animation part.